Hey everybody, and welcome to well, Pro Evolution Soccer 2020. Now, um, I haven't actually played this for quite some time, to be fair, um, but I fancy getting back in. Um, we've got the Champions League matches coming up, we've got the Euro Euros coming up, we've got a very short break until the next season, and it feels like football's really starting to kind of kick in again, you know, with the transfer window. But one thing which I think... Um, uh, one thing which I think a lot of people kind of maybe forgot about or just hasn't, haven't really thought about was that we should have had the Euros this year. <laughs> um, we should have had uh, the European European 2020, Euros 2020, but we didn't. Um, it's obviously been postponed until next year, uh, which is which is fine. Um, obviously a totally right decision to do that. Hopefully we'll be able to have the fans back next year for it um, and have the kind of, you know, proper match we can. But I thought I'd actually kind of play through it and, uh, you know, see what um, see what we've actually got. So I'm going to play professional, I think. I haven't played for ages, so I don't know how good I'm going to be. And we'll start off, we'll play as England. I don't know if I'll maybe do another one of these and play as, I don't know, another country. Um, but we'll, we'll play as England. Um... I think we've probably got here mostly what we would uh, we do. Group stage room would be freely arranged. Now we'll we'll keep we'll keep this. I I don't think I don't know if they actually did draw the Euros. I believe they did, but I don't know what they were. So um if we have a look in here we've got what Turkey, Italy, Wales, Switzerland, Denmark, Finland, Belgium, Russia, Netherlands, Ukraine, Austria, Hungary, England, Croatia, Slovakia, Czech Republic. It's quite a tough group actually. Spain, Sweden, Poland, Bosnia, Scotland, Portugal, France, Germany. I mean, that group F is ridiculous, isn't it? But hey, there's always one group of death. Um, this looks fun. I think it would have been a really cool event. I mean, hopefully it will be next year as well. But uh, yeah. It's such a shame because it, it was... If you remember, it was scheduled to happen across so many different um, countries as a kind of celebration event. Um, I think the final was actually here in the UK at Wembley, um, which would have been awesome. But uh, yeah, you know, that's just the way it goes. Okay, right, game plan. Who are we going to play? Um, sure, we use simple sense. So we've got Kane, Rashford, Sterling. I don't think I can argue with that. In midfield, though, I do have an argument with that. So I have an argument with Ross Barkley being in over maybe... Well, they're saying the Ox is, is better. Uh, I'd say okay. Henderson, Rice, Ox. Chilwell, Maguire, Stones, Alexander-Arnold. I would probably agree that that's the best. We've got Rashford there. I, I Maybe you could argue maybe having like a... Um, uh, a Madison or a Mount, but maybe we want to keep it tight against what is an exceptionally good Croatia side. But I think maybe their their weakness, you can see their keeper, who doesn't even look like a real person. Um, Rebic up front is <laughs> looking like he's uh, wants to go to sleep. Um, so yeah, I think yeah, this would be kind of my team. Uh, uh, Sancho as well. He's got hasn't got the face, I guess. But I don't I don't know about Rice. Um, but I'll I'll give him a go. Because I think Henderson's like way better personally. And then I think maybe actually I might choose um, Madison there. And we'll see how that goes. I would probably pick in real life probably picnic popa for pickford but obviously it's quite a wide gap in stats but i think the back four i'd probably keep um gomez is pretty good but they seem to have over kind of like done how good uh stones is in compared to real life i'd say uh so yeah but we'll keep that okay to the next match england versus croatia um Nice strip. What stadium have we got? St. Petersburg. It's at night. Okay. 
let's kick off. As I said, I haven't played Pro Evo in quite some time. Um, I do prefer Pro Evo to FIFA. I know people have their own preferences. You know what, you're, you're totally entitled to that. But um, I just prefer the gameplay. Pro Evo. I actually think it looks better as well, to be fair. Like for many years, Pro Evo got a bit of a, a bad reputation, but I think it looks better. And I really like what they're doing this year. If you don't know, they're not releasing a well Pro Evo 21 I guess is actually just an update pack so I think it'll be like 20 quid or something and I've been saying that FIFA should do this for years which is just release a small update pack with all the new team kits and players and everything stadiums a little bit of tweaking uh, and then really concentrate on building a new engine and that's what Pro Evo are doing so Pro Evo 22 I think will be phenomenal um, and I think FIFA should be worried um, it probably isn't worried because at the end of the day they um, you know they make so much money and they've got such a market share with the kids that it doesn't really matter does it it's quite a national anthem there sorry it's a bit disrespectful for me to talk through it um, remember when fans were allowed in football stadiums I like the fact that they have the anthems. It's kind of cool. Wow, you really see Alexander Arnold is pretty short compared to Harry Maguire, there, don't you? Pickford for a goalkeeper is fairly short, although don't say that to his face because he does not like that. Tiles look a little weird with their mouths when they're singing. I will say that, but hey, it's a nice touch, isn't it? At the end of the day. So England versus Croatia, a rematch of the uh, World Cup semi-final here. Um, I think we all know how that ended. You don't need to be reminded anymore. But uh, It's kind of cool with the crowd noise, I must say. I can't wait to actually get back realistic crowd noise and have fans in the stadium and all that kind of stuff. Is that the actual Euro ball, I wonder? Okay, thank you for the tip. Okay, here we go. try. That's it. Pump along ball to Sterling. That's the way. That, that, that's what'll do it. Uh, okay. Kind of what the tackle is. So. And my way, Modric. Ooh, okay. Croatia, after five minutes, had the first chance. Listen, I'll take a draw here, just so uh, you guys know. Let's we'll skip that, I don't see the replay. I like the little graphics and stuff. We'll obviously pass it out because that's what we do now. Um, right, let's try and concentrate on getting a nice, nice passing move. That's it, get it up to Trent. Okay, I thought the ref was one of my players then. That was nearly a very bad mistake. Okay. Oh. How on earth did Oxlade Chamberlain not get that ball? Okay, that might have been foul. <laughs> Is he going to get a card? He's kind of running away. Did I actually injure his player? No, oh, just a. I don't think it was that bad, was it? Perisic. I think you could argue that was a yellow card, but uh, you know. Okay. Perisic. Probably shouldn't have played on professional, should I? <laughs> oh well. Okay. Okay. 
Here comes Sterling. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, I think he might have been offside, but um, it was a good move. Was he offside? Probably didn't, I probably wanted Kane on the end of that, not uh, Sancho. No, he was well on. I didn't even see that number three there. Okay. Oh, what a, what a pass. That's it, that's what we want. Kane is the, the linchpin it. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky there. Whoa, what was that? That's an interesting free kick, uh, goal kick. Come on. Oh, fuck, Modric. Oh! I was right to be scared. Harry Maguire. At least he's good at one thing. He's good in the air. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay, good. Shit. <laughs> okay. Nice. Come and chill well. That's it. Nice counter here. Oh. <laughs> Took it too long. I was, I was going to hit it, but it took too long. It took way too long. Nice. Oh, ref! That was a outrageous referee. I didn't realize we had a Croatian referee in the house. <laughs> what was that? Wow. Football's become a no contact sport. The game's gone. The game's finally gone. That better be my foul. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Poor little Raheem Sterling. What's he supposed? What's a man supposed to do? Okay. Okay, I actually wanted that around the outside there, but uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Nearly worked out. Okay. Okay. Oh, Raz, you ran and then you stopped. Could have given me more than that, my man. Okay, chill. All right, Harry. Check him out. Okay, he was offside, but still. I was about to whack. <laughs> that was that was nearly GBH there on that defender. <laughs> uh, ben Chilwell, most distance dribbled. I feel like we've grown into this game a little bit. That was, we weren't even challenging for that. Okay, I've got that. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, he says. I feel like I've grown into this game. He says. He just literally puts it out for a corner. Like a complete muppet. I know it's Sterling. I know it's Alexander Arnold. Okay, good block. It's going to be another corner. Yeah, you can you can lighten up on the replays a little bit, probably. But we don't need to see every uh, everything. Okay, well punched. Come on, here comes Madison. Yes. Oh, that's actually not a terrible pass. <laughs> I was really hoping that was going to pay off, but yes. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. Here comes Kane. He's through. Oh, Kane. He's blown it. When he's not blown it, he's got the second opportunity. Harry Kane. He's done it. <laughs> what a celebration. <laughs> oh, I thought I blew it there with that one-on-one. -on -one. It was a it was a great like move, and somehow Oxlade Chamberlain would, and then they just yeah Oxlade Chamberlain with a great header. Back Kane's unmarked, slathers it in, cracker, cracker of a goal. just before half time so what people say is the best time to score a goal oh my mouse cuts is still on the screen by the way there you go sorry about that I've literally just noticed that okay I'm getting one Croatia nil it's dreamland <laughs> now's the time to definitely start flying in two footed That's fine. We got this. We got this. That's fine. That's it. Oh, referee. There was some spite in that ref. There's. I mean, I'd send him off for the Taylor Swift haircut alone. Let alone that, that sort of argy bargy. I mean, if that's not a yellow card in football, could someone explain to me what is? Because, oh, Trent, Trent has got it. Uh, I have no idea how to take free kicks. Oh, you know what? I'm not as bad as I thought it would be. I am adoring the fact that I'm getting 144 frames per second <laughs> at the highest video settings at uh, 1440p. I am liking that a lot, by the way. I know you guys can only see it in uh, 60, but it is it is smooth. Oh God, he's done. Oh, well done. Oh, panic. John the Stones, you're better than that, my buddy. You're better than that. Keepers. Oh, keeper. Raz, go. Oh, ref. Hendo. Was it Addison? No, it's Madison. That's it. That's Hendo. There we go. Nice. Ooh, I thought, just hit it. It's a good pass in. You're in the box. Just hit it. Sancho, wasn't it? Yeah. Should have been yours, Maguire. Let's <laughs> lay down in front. That'll work. Let's keep us. Would you stop punching it? Oh, God. Oh, that's a great save. That's some uh, 
Nice footwork in the area there. Come on. Okay, we'll just uh, forget about that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was that was a great save by Pickford. Actually, I've got to say, I was a bit worried there. Endo, oh, losing too many aerial balls. Ah, oh. oh, oh, damn it! Nice. Nice. Oh. oh, ref! How how is that not a foul, ref? Now that is a tackle, ladies and gentlemen. And Joe, ah, oh, not quite. Oh. Okay, that was a pretty good tackle, I'll give him that. Uh, I saw that one, I saw that. Oh, for fuck's sake, McGuire. <laughs> you buffoon. Nice. Oh, that's not that's not good. Let's pass up on it at all. I was wanted Kane to uh, check back a bit, but he didn't. What is going on, Chilwell? What is going on? It's like running in quicksand. To be fair, I haven't made any subs, so. Uh, he is a bit knackered, actually. We'll bring on Rose. I might bring on. Oh God! I didn't even. I didn't even mean to do that. That's interesting. Okay, let's keep it tight because, you know, we're one nil up. There's a minute or so to go. We don't want to concede. Okay. Nice. I mean, we won, but probably should have done a little bit better there. Okay, great win, I think, against a very good Croatia side, so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> John Stones with that grin. Okay. Well, happy with that, actually. Um, yeah. Aid and uh, Kane were good. Maguire Stone's not so good at the back there. Well, that's your opinion, Borygon. So, Italy beat Turkey 2 0, Switzerland 1 3 1. I just having a drink of my tea. Slovenia beat Czech Republic, actually, which is interesting. Okay. Uh, right. Let's look at our game plan. Is there anybody we want to change? I actually liked how people were playing. Um, everyone seems to be fine, like health-wise. So let's play Slovakia. 
Hamsik, I know, as uh, kind of the Damon Germain, but I, I must admit, Dubravka in goal plays with Newcastle, not really sure on too many others, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go for it. We will go for it, then we will uh, do our best. That's a good cup of tea, actually. Enjoying that. Yorkshire gold, those wondering. The Stadio Olimpico, eh? In Rome. We won't, um, we won't do the uh, anthems this time. That was a little bit uh, rash on my part. Oh, a bit, uh, bit dramatic there from Pickford, but. Okay, that's not the pass we wanted. I mean, I thought that touched the ball, to be fair, but uh, look at little Raheem suddenly. He just looks cold standing down there. Poor lad. Yeah, we'll leave that one. I love the amounts of detail that we have nowadays, like all the little photographers and things like that. Okay. That's it. Pass it over there. That's it. Very nice. Take out the midfield. Nice. Oh, I saw that pass. I didn't know if I could pull it off, but I did, as you saw. Uh, nice. Very professional. Like it. It's the type of pass that you just can't do in FIFA. It just, it just would not find that guy there. Oh, yes. Raheem Sterling gets off the mark. Brilliant run through midfield there by uh, or Henderson, I think it was. Is it Henderson? No, Madison. Oh, what a ball. Um, dinked it through by, by Sterling there. I think great work by Kane. Just peels that defender off. Look there. Whoop. Raheem starts away. 1 0 to England. We're going to win the cup. We're going to win the cup. Oh, nice. Nice. Madison's been a, a, a little a little gem, I think. Ah, didn't really get the run I wanted there. Force them into that long ball. Nice. Oh no, that's not the ball. Wanted it slightly wider. Oh, another long flat ball. Nice. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> it's like the two didn't know whether to run to the ball or not. Okay. Okay. Oh, this guy is going through my defence. That's it. He's got that all day long, Pickford. All day long. Okay, what have we got here? What's on? What's on, lads? Pass down to the ox. Up to uh, Hendo. Back to Stones. Oh, that, oh, that was nearly not a good pass for me. That's it. Okay, wide to Chilwell. Oh, I thought we'd done him there. But not quite. I need to watch that. Yeah, I saw that all day long. Don't worry, I got that one. Ah, oh, that wasn't the ball I wanted. Nice. Whoa. Short. No, no, he kept in. Well played. Okay, first forty-five minutes, one nil up, thanks to a nice Raheem Sterling goal. I'll take that. Not a lot of shots going on though. Get into that second half and uh, see what we can do. <laughs> nice. Come on, get that byline cross. Oh. Yeah. I do think that England um, in the Euros would be quite frightening with, like, you know, Sterling, Sancho, and Kane up front. I think that is like a world class attacking lineup, personally. Um, the thing which worries me is probably defence, central defence. I mean, Oxlade and Jewel, I think, are, are, are good. Um, I mean, so no, Oxlade. Um, Alexander Arnold, I think, is probably the best right back in the world. But internationally, there's a difference. I mean, he's he's going to add a lot from like set pieces and stuff for us. But um, ah, he's off. Damn it. Um, but um, yeah, I think he's more used to being an attacking fullback. I don't know if international football. I mean, I guess it. We should play that way, but, but yeah, we chill well with him. And then I guess it's going to be Maguire and someone else, but Maguire's pace does worry me. Um, I don't think he's had the best season I Oh, God damn it. Um, but I mean, in midfield, I guess you've got, um, you know, Henderson, I guess Henderson, Madison. I don't know if Oxlade would be in there personally. There's, there's quite a lot of choice attacking wise. He might play Rice. I, I would like to see Rice move to a big club. Um, I think in West Ham's. At West Ham, he's not playing enough like good football. Oh, it's Raz. Raz with the second. Raz with his second there. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see him play for a better club, basically, and see what he's really made of Declan Rice. I don't know if that will happen, but... Okay. Why is my mouse? Go away, mouse. <laughs> no one wants you. Stop trying to get in on the fame of this video. Um, but, yeah, I think, you know, we've got one of the best like England teams in my opinion that we've ever had. Yeah, you know, I, I was alive for the 
the golden generation. I, I, I watched Euro 96, you know, with Gaza and, and that lot. And that was a great team. But I feel now there's just... Uh, oh, that was a great set of ever, wasn't it? I feel now that there is just like this... An attack that can just... I feel like those sort of England teams, we always had like great players, but other than possibly Shearer, I don't know if anyone, and Gaza, we didn't really have like a world-class player. Now I feel like we've got three up front. Plus, you know, when you think about it as well, we have players like Rashford who can also play. Um, you know, and whoever else wants to kind of come through as well. So there's also backup there as well. Um, so I think there is a lot of options there. Um, you know, we've got some really good young players coming through. It's it's funny though, isn't it? Because for years there was this kind of worry, I guess, that foreign foreigners coming into that. That's a great ball. Shame is <laughs> control wasn't quite up to scratch. For years it was this worry that like, oh, we're never going to be able to produce good English players because the Premier League's full of foreigners and they don't get their chance. And uh, you know, we're seeing that's not. <clears throat> necessarily true in any way um, there are good English players coming through I think the problem wasn't that they weren't coming through and getting a chance I think the problem was that they weren't going abroad I mean that's very harsh right I think um, and you look at maybe like the most recent thing I guess example Jude Bellingham going to Borussia Dortmund like yeah it would never have ever have happened um, English players always stayed in England there was the occasional person like a Gaza or a Paul Lintz or you know, someone like that. Okay. Let me make some subs. Arnold for Trippier. Okay, well, they're back in the game. It's a great free kick, to be fair. I can't argue with it. Um... I'm not sure Trippier is going to make the uh, Euro squad, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I just, I just think it was like now young English players are actually seeing that. Probably, you know, thanks to players like Jaden Sancho, um, that going abroad actually is okay. <laughs> you know, there was always this curse, and I think that is kind of making a difference there's a lot of great young English players online in Germany right now um, and I think it's fantastic for the English game it's, it's what we needed because we can bemoan like the Premier League and everything but at the end of the day if there are players better out there than them that's who the team's going to play and you have to go and find your your level play at it and improve oh, you get that What are they doing? You can think uh, Reemstone and Harry Kane are uh, pretty good friends. We got that deep back anyway, that's good. I didn't want a too nervy a last 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so I think it's, um, it, it, you know, the way English players develop and going abroad will ultimately help them and their kind of maturity and their definitely their lifestyle as well because there is a tendency I think where um, you know I don't, I don't want to criticize anyone because at the end of the day you know you if somebody gave me that you know was paying me each week the amount of money that you know some of these like young young men are, are getting paid I guess there's a tendency to go a little bit crazy um, but okay, I didn't really know what I was doing there, but that actually turned out to be a pretty good pass. <laughs> Come on, trips. Okay. Uh oh. Nice. Not so nice. Uh, 
um, yeah, there's a tendency to go a little bit wild and get carried away. And I guess um, sometimes as well, like younger players, I think maybe going abroad probably helps with that a little bit, helps keep them a little bit centred, keeps them, you know, kind of going from there. And also, I guess, just kind of playing football as well is probably, probably good for them as well. Okay, so Czech Republic, we're going to play this final group game and then I'll finish the video and we'll, we'll carry on next time. Um, seeing as we've already qualified, I guess, I didn't actually look. Um, yes. Uh, okay. Can I not look at the table? Okay. I think I'm pretty sure we've already qualified with two wins. Maybe we should look at... Um, Resting people, although they seem fine to be fair. Let's get some, let's try out some players. Let's put Henderson for Rice. Let's try Basin Mount for Madison. Let's try Rashford um, for Oh, I'll take off Kane. Uh, we'll maybe bring that as a substitute. Let's maybe try Gomez for He's not for the strength. But he has got better speed than stones, so we'll try him for stone. We'll try and then maybe we'll try Danny Rose for Chilwell. Um best speed for Rose. We'll, we'll try that. Okay, kick off. Um, oh, that's a so coming back again. Try and get into my video. Cheeky. Okay. So yeah, I think the whole. I felt like it was really a funny argument, wasn't it? When everyone was saying like, "Ah, oh, you know, in England, like." Yeah, we need to limit the amount of foreign players coming in because they're not giving you know, younger players a chance. Because it's like, yeah, but there's all these leagues around the world which you can go and play in. <laughs> and limiting um, the players would just make English players cost even more. Oh, okay. How close was that? We had a lot of space though, that's why I just decided it just kind of opened up there. I could have taken on a little bit more actually. It wasn't far off, you know. It wasn't far off at all. I've actually really enjoyed playing the Rovio. Uh, nice. Oh, nice. Well recovered there, Declan Rice. Very deep, aren't they? Oh. Wasn't quite the cross I was looking for, but uh, you know. That was a foul all day long. I'm glad they don't have VAR in, uh, in this, though. It's going to be interesting next season to see if they are. Uh, I think we're going to hit this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that feels good. I haven't scored a free kick in a long time. Oh, you know we're going to watch the replay on this. Oh yeah. Yeah, good job Pickford. 
That was a crap of a free kick there. Whoa. Okay. My computer just absolutely blue screened, so I'm going to stop now. <laughs>